Hello, Marcin. It's been a big year for Polish MMA fighters. Joanna had a big fight, and now Jan Blachowicz is fighting for the title. What does it mean to you to be a part of that group? Uh, hi. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be that kind of group, and uh, always uh, I'm happy when uh, my colleagues are uh, getting well. And this is good for a Polish MMA, of course, and uh, it's getting getting bigger and bigger because then uh, gonna hear in the news about it, so people gonna know what is MMA, what is mixed martial arts. How would you say the sport has grown back in Poland? You know, obviously, in having big name fighters in big fights is, uh, helps a lot. But how would you say it's grown over the last few years? Yeah, it's really popular. It's getting really popular. People want to uh, do MMA, uh, grappling a lot. MMA is uh, is getting common that uh, people uh, don't want to go only to the gym and do fitness. They want to do something else and more to uh, to get some new skills. And uh, yeah, this is, I think is important, you know, to to get that knowledge. Uh, it's not only good to to do the fitness and to to watch how your uh, muscle is growing, but to learn something, what can be uh, useful for you. I know your last two fights didn't go your way. Just when you go back to the gym, can you talk about what you learned from those fights to get better as a fighter? Yes, of course. <laughs> All the time uh, you, you win or you learn, so uh, that's too... Uh, to learn give me a lot of uh, knowledge what I have to do in the future uh, to to be better fighter and I hope I can show it in in this fight but uh, yeah you're fighting Mike Rodriguez what does he bring that makes him a dangerous opponent yes his uh, his kicks his knees I watch his fights and uh, he's dangerous stand-up fighter uh, yeah he's a uh, South Pole, that is also an orthodox, yeah, that that's, uh, make the, the change, maybe why he win his fights as well, yeah? Got it. Last question. Um, what would it mean to you, you know, obviously you did good in one championship, but what would it mean personally to get that first UFC victory? Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> it's something for I was uh, waiting for for a long time, you know. Uh... Yeah, in one championship was uh, I, I uh, did it well, and uh, everything was uh, was was good. And when I came to UFC, I want to show up in a good way, and maybe that's why that that went wrong, you know. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, and I hope and I train for it. I I sweat for it to to make it all better. Now let's see what what it's gonna be on uh, Sunday evening. Hey, thank you very much, Marcin. Oh, Saturday. <laughs> Our next question is from Gabriel Pengelingen with Dojo Drift. Hello, Marcin. How are you doing? Hey, I'm fine, thanks. And you? Yeah, I'm doing great. So it's been some time since your last fight. It's yeah, been a, a two year period. So what has the last two years been like for you? What have you been working on? Oh, the last two years it was... Uh, it was pretty pity for me because uh, first I had the uh, uh, injury after the fight and after that I had another injury. So it was like uh, at least one year of injuries. And then uh, I came back to training. Of course, in the time when I had injuries, I trained as well, but it was not the, all the training and the mat. So I did everything to get better and better and uh, I can go back to the mat. So it was really tough, uh, tough years for me. I learned a lot from that. Uh, for sure, I learned the, the patient and uh, I hope I will show it in this fight. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I was working on everything after the injury, you know, after my, uh, yeah, my, my body, my core, my my technique, uh, mental also, so everything together. It's, it's not one thing. You, you have to become better fighter all the time. And also after my two fights, uh, you, you, if I don't learn something new now, that I, will, I want to learn it never maybe, you know? So, so I think I get the point what, what was uh, needed 
in the last two fights and let's see what it's gonna be now. Yeah, and after that, the rough start you've had down the UFC, do you feel like your back is against the wall? Is there a bit of pressure or desperation here going to your third fight? You know, I don't feel any pressure anymore. So maybe in the last two fights, I feel pressure. That's why I want to show up in a good way and mm -hmm. that uh, went in not my way. But that time, I don't give any pressure to myself. It will be what it will be. I'm ready for everything. Uh, I'm prepared 100%, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm just uh, happy. I'm here again. I can fight. And this is maybe a little bit different because the, the last two fights, I feel a little bit stressed. But now I, I feel only happy that I'm here again and I, I'm going to fight. So it's like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and being a fighter, it's very difficult, especially with all the, the injuries you've had to deal with. So what has kept you motivated? Uh, throughout this whole process yeah what is kept me motivated yeah i yeah it's something in you you have to have something to motivate yourself you your goals maybe your your ambitions your goals you know what i uh, give to myself uh, many years ago i i give myself some some goals and i want to achieve it you know and I'm uh, 20 years in the martial sports now, so it's uh, many years and it's like, uh, it would be difficult to leave it like, like that because I lose once or twice. So uh, yeah, that keep me motivated, you know, I work really hard for it and uh, I do my best all the time. Maybe last two fights didn't show it, but uh, you never see it, you never see the... Uh, the thing what is before the fight, you only see the fight in the uh, TV and it is uh, easy to watch it, you know? Yeah, well, we hope that motivation carries you to victory this weekend. Best of luck, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Our last question is from Rodney James Edgar with MMAsoldier.net. Hey, what's going on, man? Um, first and foremost, uh, where did you do your camp? Are you still... Um, based out of uh, the Netherlands for your fight camp. Can you repeat, please? Where, where, where did you do your fight camp for uh, for this fight? Yeah, I uh, I spar a lot. I did many technique. I uh, watched the videos of my opponent. You know, I prepare everything for for him. So was uh, more technical. Uh, sparring also we we use all the time the person who is similar to my opponent so uh, was uh, a lot to uh, what uh, what it was a lot to 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 learn but I think we did it a really great job and uh, we work also on the defense now more so I hope it will be all good now you know where where is the camp uh, the team located? Uh, we did it in Holland. I uh, we did the, the training camp in Holland in Deventer. Uh, this time we stay there all the time before I move uh, from Poland to Holland and uh, back and forward. And I think that was also maybe uh, some problem. But that time we decide to stay always in Holland. We we use uh, the. The, the sparring parts is what we had uh, here. Also, it's not that easy time now. It's Corona time and the gyms at the beginning was closed. So we had to struggle a little bit. But uh, end of the end of the day was everything uh, perfect because when the fight was announced, uh, the gyms get open so we can train normal in the gym. And uh, we get more sparring partners. Uh, yeah, mostly we was focused on the sparring, on the technique, you know, and... Uh, my physical is good, always was good. I, I train uh, for so many years already. It's not like I'm, I'm here for, for two years. It's uh, 20 years in the sport already. I know right now with the pandemic, it's very difficult to travel, especially overseas. So I wonder how soon did you come to the United States to make sure that everything went smoothly? Yeah, we came uh, Sunday, just a week before a fight. But there was uh, a lot of paperwork before we could came here. It was uh, much more than normal. So, and always you have to wear also the mask everywhere. 
and yeah, it was pretty difficult, but uh, you can do everything if you okay. need it. Here, here you are. Um, so uh, I have to ask an obligatory Apex question. This is your first time at the Apex. It's going to be your first time fighting. Um, it's going to be a little bit, you know, different with no with no audience. So first of all, what do you think about the facility? Because it's adjacent to the Performance Institute, another world-class facility. What, what do you think about those places? So uh, we're just going to be there first time today because of the corona restricted. We couldn't come there before because of the test, everything. And we came in the uh, last few days, uh, three days ago or something. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be there first time today. So I don't know, but I heard really uh, good things about it. I hope uh, it will be like, uh, like I heard about it. But here also we have a really good uh, staff, uh, the catering with the food, it's all good with supplements as well. So it's perfect, you know, it's, uh, we get all we need. Yeah. Just one more for me. Um, so you talk about, we talked about earlier, uh, the long layoff. I wonder how does a prize fighter earn their living uh, when you are not able to fight? Uh, what do you mean? Like, how, how do, you, do you have to work a regular job uh, when you're not fighting? No, no. I have some uh, saving money. And, uh, yeah, I just live from the saving money. It's like that, you know. If, yeah, if I don't have any saving, then I have to go to work and then uh, it would be more difficult. But, uh, yeah, I, I did some, so uh, it was more easy for me to, to stay at that time, uh, no working, and uh, I could be, I, uh, could be focused on the on fighting. Good, great. Well, we look forward to seeing you in there.